Now, we're not going to ask how I got them. We don't ask questions on this channel. We just... We just accept it at this point, okay? Man, this is scary. Everyone's got G-sets on. It's okay, though. We're not going to die. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this man's so confused. He's like, hold up. How do you... Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're going to be opening up mystery boxes. Basically, what he's doing is he's just selling these online, and I saw them, and I thought it would be a great video idea. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get scammed or if they're going to be actually overpowered or not, but obviously, we're going to find out in today's video. But before we can get started, you guys absolutely crushed the last like goal. So I think if we can aim for 175 likes, I know we can do it, guys. Just every single one of you, scroll down there and hit that like button. Also, check if you're subscribed, and if you're not, please consider subscribing as well. I put a lot of time and effort into these videos, and it really means a lot to me. The server that I'm playing on is ecpehub.net. Come join. I'm on OP Factions. You can come say hi to me and everyone else on the server. But anyways, with that said, let's get started. No, guys, I'm not even kidding when I say this. He literally just randomly DM'd me that he's selling mystery boxes. Now, I did some calculations, and to buy every single one of them, it's going to cost me roughly 19 million coins. So I went on my alt account and I paid it a whole bunch of my balance. I'll probably have to grind it back later in this video maybe, but we'll see. Anyways, pretty much that's what we're going to do. So we're going to send him a DM and letting him know that we got the money to buy every single one of his mystery boxes. Oh, he says, what do you mean all of them? So I let him know that I want to buy one of each mystery box. And he just goes, oh. <laughs> so he just said yes. So let me just ask him how long it'll take for him to get it set up. He just said no refunds. Oh no, it's... We're past the point of no return. There's no refunds here, guys. No refunds, no returns. This man's got terms and conditions. Oh my gosh. Honestly, though, I gotta give him credit. That's an amazing idea. I honestly never would have thought do doing something like this in the game. I mean, this dude's just making bank, so. <laughs> yeah, so in total, we're paying 18.7 million coins for all of these. So seriously, it better be good because this is a lot of money that I'm just kind of throwing around for a video here. Now, in the meantime, I'm actually at my base right now, and there's one thing that they've kind of started to want me to do and that's actually check the outside of our walls to see if anyone's been trying to raid us. Now, the reason for this is there's been actually multiple times where I've seen people actually blow up into the melon farm here. And obviously, we don't want any of that. So basically, all I'm doing here is just checking our walls and making sure that no one's been actually trying to raid. And yeah, as you can see, there's a little bit of damage here. So I'm actually going to go to the shop and get probably about a stack or so of obsidian to help repair all this. Yeah, so honestly, the base is in pretty good condition. I use maybe about like 10 or 12 obsidian. So currently, I'm not too worried about people actually raiding this thing. But obviously, it's important to make sure no one's actually going to be raiding it. All right, so he actually just DM me that he's ready, which worked out perfect here. Now, I seriously hope this is not going to be a scam because... This is honestly a perfect video idea. Obviously, we could be wasting all our money, but we're just going to give it a shot. We're going to go for it. So basically, what he's saying is I'll accept the TPA, don't open the chest, and then pay first. Okay. All right, so we owe this guy... Uh, 18.7 mil we're just gonna pay him 19 mil because we're nice so there you go sir thank you i think it's time we start opening them up <laughs> now before we do this we gotta know which one's like the cheap one and which one's the most expensive i'm thinking this is the cheap one here but i guess we got we gotta ask them bit the big man himself we gotta see what he's got to say so just he just says first so i'm just thinking it's this one here and for 200k we get six god eater kits two atlas and two md Honestly, that's not a bad deal for 200k. We'll take it. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. We're going to basically put this one right over here. And then let's see what's in the... This is the 500k one now. So in here, we've got six Hephaestus kits, four Kronos, and six God Eater. So I don't know. It's okay, I guess. I mean, it's not terrible. It's only 500k. You can make that in a couple seconds farming melons anyway. Now up here is the 1 million. So I don't know what chest this is or what kit it's a shion kit so for a million coins you get a shion kit honestly last i heard these things were going for a lot more so honestly that's a pretty good deal there now up here is the two million dollar kit and for this we get a 1.5 times level xp modifier for the whole server i mean it's all right i wouldn't personally spend two million coins on it just because it's only a server modifier it's not personal but honestly it's okay guys <laughs> and then in here we've got some sort of custom enchant book and i don't know what this could be but this is the five million dollar chest so i guess we'll just see it's a wrath of apollo i mean it's all right i guess but it's it's definitely not worth five million <laughs> but i mean hey the guy's got to make a profit on these things so we'll give it to him it's all right and then lastly in the 10 million dollar chest there's a stack of some sort of kit and i don't know what it could be stack of atlas kits for 10 mil i mean i don't think it's worth it but like <laughs> 
I gotta give it to the man. He's he's a businessman, all right? <laughs> you know, I don't know if I'd say this is actually worth it to be buying these mystery things, just simply because... I mean, some of them are good, don't get me wrong. Like, that Shion kit for a million coins, that's, in my opinion, a really good deal. But man, a stack of Atlas kits for 10 mil? I don't know if that's really worth it, guys. <laughs> he just said you want one more 10 mil. Oh, that's a lot of coins to be putting in, man. I don't know if I got that. Like... <laughs> Honestly, guys, I think I might actually have to pass on this one just because I kind of got scammed there. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's all right. It's decent gear and kits, but for 20 mil, I don't know if all this stuff is worth that. Anyways, though, huge shout out to this guy. He's making a living. He's a businessman, guys. Honestly, you got to give it to him. But honestly, that gives me a really great idea on how we can get tons of coins. Now, as some of you may or may not know, we've actually got some illegal items in our ender chest here. Now, we're not going to ask how I got them. We don't ask questions on this channel. We just... We just accept it at this point, okay? Now, what we've got is we've got 64 blocks of sodium, which was actually an item in the education version of Bedrock. Now, we're not going to ask how I got these blocks, but we did. So, we got sodium, thorium, and then one singular block of chlorine. And then this is where it gets real, guys, because the next block is a piece of literal Bedrock. Now, the reason we're doing this is because we're really broke here. We got 600k, and I really don't want to be farming melons for more money right now. So, pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to set up our own illegal mystery box shop. Now, that's literally what we're going to call it, and we're going to set this thing up in the wild, and we're just going to do whatever with it. Okay, well, as we're flying in the wild, I actually found someone's old base, and I don't know if it's got anything good in it. It's a bunch of uh, dispensers in a tree. I don't know, guys. It's, it seems pretty broke to me. I'm not even going to break this stuff, because uh, honestly, this dude needs stuff. We're just going to give him... I think we'll give this guy two of our Atlas kits, literally just because we can. I mean, I yeah, feel bad for the guy. Oh, so this dude who just sold me the stuff actually messaged me broke. Can you tell in chat I don't scam? A lot of people who didn't buy my product say that I scam and it's hurting my sales. I mean, I don't know if I want to be putting my name behind his business. I mean, it's kind of shady, guys, not gonna lie. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a good idea, but uh, I don't know if I want to be putting my name behind that. Anyways, we're basically just gonna set our shop up on this island here, and this is where we're gonna do all our business transactions and all of our illegal dealings you know but obviously i want to make this thing look nice people are going to be spending some money to actually get these illegal items so we gotta run to the shop and we're gonna get some nice blocks and make this thing look actually decent so now here we are on the island we're actually gonna break some of these blocks here just so we can get a flat surface to work on and this is where it'll be this is where the illegal shop's gonna be set up we're literally gonna get rich doing this Now, pretty much this is how the shop's gonna look it's not the best but it's gonna do the trick guys it'll get people to actually be hyped up about these obviously we're gonna put something in here i'm not sure which one of these we're gonna actually do yet i'm thinking for starters since it's just a rare mystery box we're gonna actually throw in a block of sodium as well as a block of thorium now guys seriously i hope this does not get me banned because there's potential there's potential <laughs> but honestly this is how it's gonna look i think that's a pretty cool design for this and honestly, guys, that's how the shop's gonna be run. We're basically just gonna be selling literally illegal blocks in the game that you cannot get from anywhere. Once again, don't question how I got them, okay? <laughs> Alright, I think that's good enough. We're basically just gonna say selling an illegal mystery box for 6 million coins. DM me. Oh gosh, it's, it's past the point of no return. This is literally becoming an illegal operation on the server as a YouTube rank. We're risking it all here, but we're just gonna send this. We're just gonna wait for them to- Someone's already teleported. Oh my gosh. Someone's calling me a scammer. This has gone wrong. All right, hold on. We got some- We got some guy messaging me, so- We got multiple people messaging me now. Okay, hold up. <laughs> we got the- We got the orders rolling in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is where it's at. This is literally where it's at. We're making- We're getting rich. We're doing illegal trades. We're just gonna- We're gonna start off with the first dude who messaged me, and we're just gonna be like- we're just gonna be like, pay me six mil in TPA. I think on top of that, we're actually gonna throw something decent in there with it as well. We're gonna put half a stack of the Atlas kits, just so we're not completely scamming them. They can also get some decent items as well with it, but it's got illegal items in there, guys. This is how we gotta do it. This is how we get rich. Um, He teleported, so we're just gonna TPA here, and then... Hopefully he likes the mystery items. I don't know if he will or not. We'll give it a shot, though. <laughs> He's opened it. He's opened it. He's got the illegal items in his hand. <laughs> We do offer refunds at this shop, though, so it's okay. If he doesn't like them, we offer complete refunds, so it's okay. <laughs> That's how we do business here. That's how we do it. All right, we got another. We got more business going on here. All right, well, TP accept, I guess. It's okay. Um, <laughs> we're literally giving away illegal items. It's okay though. Man, this is scary. Everyone's got G sets on. <laughs> 
It's okay though, we're not gonna die. I don't know what you're talking about. What can I get for a max G sword? Oh man, I don't know. How much is a max G sword worth? I gotta think here. Oh man, I don't know really. I mean, that's that's for six mil. So, <laughs> you know, in the world of illegal item dealing, not that I'd have experience, things get sussy and this guy's got the G set and he could kill me at any moment. All I've got is literally an Atlas Axe to defend myself. I will throw in a, a sodium. There we go. Cool. We're making we're making moves here. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I don't know how we're doing this. We're literally getting rich off this. I'm not even kidding. This is how we make infinite money. It's literally an exploit in the game. You just you get illegal items and you get rich. Oh man, he came back. Wait, what? Nah, this is sus now. People got homes here. I might have to pack up shop. Can I buy another? You know what? Sure, 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 sure. There we go. We'll set it up one more time. So I got I'm gonna give him something else as well for six million. I just don't know what I could really give him. I mean, I guess I, I have an idea actually. We're gonna put in a forge book as well as this level XP modifier. We're gonna call it good. Six mil. We're getting rich here. Seriously, this is literally broken. I don't know how we're actually selling all these, but it's okay. <laughs> Can I get a lot of sodium? I have an addiction. <laughs> we got a limited supply, man. I mean, it's not too limited, but it's okay. <laughs> I'll, th I'll actually, I tell you what, I'll throw in one more sodium just because he's a good customer. Okay, the whole point of this is to not open it and then pay you know what it's okay it's okay we're making money it's all right now i think we're gonna take that out we're just gonna put one of these level xp modifiers in there we can't give him a whole bunch of stuff just yet what does it have <laughs> the whole point of a no that's not how it works <laughs> so someone just said i'll buy so we're just gonna battle them real quick l dog they got enough so am i going to be satisfied with this thing honestly i don't know I don't know, is it worth 6 mil of your time? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I feel bad though, I feel like we gotta give him a little bit more, so we're actually gonna throw in this uh, natural tag as well in there. I don't know if it's worth a whole bunch, but it's decent. Look, I promise we're not scamming guys. Alright, so we got another dude here, and here it is, the, the mystery box. I don't know if you'll like it or not, I guess we'll just have to see. Is he satisfied with it? I don't know, maybe, maybe not. This man took all the glass and the obsidian. Oh, oh man. All right. I guess that's okay. All right. Cool. Um, we'll have to refix that, I guess. So we're setting it up again. We're going to throw a forge book in here as well as, I don't know. We're also going to put a Shion kit in there. I'm literally just giving away the stuff that we got from our mystery boxes earlier, but it's okay. I don't really care a whole bunch about them. I'm not even kidding. After this, after this transaction, guys, we're going to have made back all of our money. So it's going to be okay. It's worth it in the end. And this is it. We're at 21 mil now. So pretty much back where we started at now. The illegal items are just, they're going, man. They're just going. So this is actually the guy that we bought the kits from in the first place. So TPA here, we're going to give him a forge book as well as, um, uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> We can maybe give him like a YouTube kit with it or something. I don't know. This guy's pretty cool. So we got to give him, we got to hook him up with something good. You know, I tell you what, we're going to give him two forge books as well for this, as well as these illegal items. This guy's pretty cool. I like him. He might've scammed me a, a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> you got to make sure the customer's happy though. So we got to DM him. Is it worth it or not? You never know. <laughs> <laughs> this man's so confused. He's like, hold up. How do you... Like, if these actually had, like, a use where they could be used as an exploit, I would be like, yeah, we're not gonna sell them. We're gonna give them to the admins and destroy them. But they got no purpose. They're just literally any other block, but just illegal, you know? We're making sure we keep the supply limited here, because, obviously, that'd be really bad if we started giving out, like, stacks of them. I mean, we've only got a stack of each, so it's it's alright, you know? <laughs> now, before we get too far, there's actually one thing that I was thinking of that could actually make this super broken, and that's... Does TNT actually explode this? Because if it doesn't, we're actually in a whole bunch of trouble here. So we got to make sure we purchase a little bit. Or we're going to test it out in the wild. I mean, seriously, guys, if TNT don't blow this up, this is literally the most broken item in the game. So yes, we're placing one down, but it's for a scientific experiment. It's okay. <sighs> Rip the illegal block. It's all right, though. Oh, okay. That's good, actually. It actually it drops from it, so it's okay. Now, I get it. We've made money doing this, and it's like 6 mil a pop. We're already at 27 million coins. It's super broken, but you know, there's actually one other thing. All right, we got one more customer looking to purchase one, so we're going to actually sell one final one and then call it quits. Now, I'm kind of running out of things to sell, so we're going to actually throw in a Wrath of Apollo, as well as a couple of Kronos kits, just because I can. Method of how items are randomized. I mean, it's not really random. It's just kind of one item, guys. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> Who's this? Hold up. Bro, who are- Oh, this guy's at a home. Okay. I mean, he can- he can hang out. He's my business partner at this point, you know? 
We're getting into an illegal business transactions with him. Man, we gotta stay firm on our price here. We can't be dipping below what's expected. Now, what we're doing is we're limiting the supply of these because if people get a whole bunch, they're gonna deflate in value and these things actually could make these guys money. They could probably end up selling them for more than what we're selling these mystery boxes for. Now, once again, seriously, these items have no purpose. They're literally just any other block. They're like a block of dirt, pretty much, and how they behave with TNT and stuff. So it's not like they have a purpose. They're just essentially cosmetic items and rare items that you can kind of flex and chat. Hopefully it's a good deal because if it's not, I'd feel really bad. <laughs> as long as the customers are satisfied, if they don't want it, they're obviously entitled to a refund. But honestly, these could definitely make the money. I'm just saying. All right, so we're going to do one final transaction here. We just sold this guy some. All right, now we're seriously running out of items. So I got to set this up quick because he actually just paid me and I don't want to be known as a scammer. So there it is, sir. The final mystery box that we're going to be selling of this style. It, it goes farther though. Trust me. <laughs> All right. So now that we've actually sold off a decent quantity of our illegal items, there's one final item that I'm going to be trying to sell. Now, essentially the first one that we're going to be selling is chlorine. It's actually the only one on the server. I got a stack of the other two, but I was only able to get one singular chlorine. Now we're not actually going to keep it in here because people have homes here, but we're going to try to sell it. Obviously, we're just going to put the chlorine in there. All right, here we go. We're going to be selling it for 25 mil. I think that's pretty fair considering all. It's the only one that exists. The others we got stacks of. We were able to give out five or six of them pretty easily. But this one, it's the only one I got, man. I mean, <laughs> hear me out here. I don't think anyone's actually going to buy it because 25 mil is actually a fairly larger sum. Now, I've actually gotten banned by holding a bedrock. It was in a previous season where if you just had a bedrock in your inventory, you could get banned. But they've changed it up now. So if you've got a bedrock in your inventory, you don't get banned. But the moment you place it down, it the server just instantly bans you. It says, nope, you, you've done messed up, man. So I think it's time we item this and just see if people do want to actually buy the bedrock. We're going to go spawn so we don't die with it because I get the feeling if I item it, someone's going to go to that home and just try to kill me, assuming I'd have it. So I don't know if I want to be actually selling this. I might just item it in chat and see what people say. We're just going to item it. Honestly, I don't even care at this point. We're just throwing it out in chat. Bedrock times one. <laughs> I just told people come spawn. I'm holding it. So if I right click with this, I literally get banned. So I got to watch my mouse here. Now, I think I'm going to hold on to the bedrock for now just because... It can literally get someone banned and I feel bad if I sold it and then the dude just gets banned right away. Obviously, we're not going to worry about it too much though. Now, if this video does get the like goal that it hit, I will give away the chlorine as well as one thorium and sodium in a giveaway. Obviously, they don't really have any legitimate purpose. They're just cosmetic. As you can see, they're like any other block, simply just like dirt. But once again, join my Discord server. It is linked down below in the description. Anyways though, I think with that said, that's pretty much going to be it. We dealt illegal items we got back the 20 mil that we took from our alt account and we actually doubled it so call me a businessman pretty epic moves by me and seriously look at this alt account it's got 976 mil on it now i think we're actually going to try to get that account to 1 billion coins before we wrap up here i know it's just like a couple of minutes we're literally just going to sell a youtube kit for 4 mil now honestly if that's not a way to end of video i don't know what is getting a billion coins and just like that we're broke on this account but if we do slash bal pay pre tadpole, it's got a billion coins. But I think on that note, now that we got literally a billion coins on an alt account, that's going to bring us to the end. I hope you all did enjoy it. Once again, make sure you like the video. We're trying to aim for 175 likes. But anyways, with that said, have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next one.